and he says, what would it take to drive that thing every day? And there's where it gets fun and interesting. This one's kind of an interesting one. The customer has owned the vehicle and before him, his dad owned the vehicle. So it was in his family. When his dad passed away, he left it to him. It broke down, threw a rod out of it in 1967 and his dad jacked it up, pulled the motor out of it and that was it. It never ran again. Well, then his dad passed away and the truck sat for many more years and the property that was on the lady said you're gonna need to come get this truck here i enter the picture and he decided he wanted to fix it up make a few bucks on it and get rid of it but then a few weeks later i get a call and he says what would it take to drive that thing every day and there's where it gets fun and interesting so we started full build Front suspension, we put a Mustang II cross member underneath it, 11 and a half inch disc brakes up front. Did a eight and a half GM diff in the rear with disc brakes. 5.3, 4L60E, mild cam in it. So roughly, you know, neighborhood of 400 horsepower, which is all that that vehicle really needs. The project was moving along great. We were making some progress until 2020. The world changed as we knew it, and also my business changed. I've been in the maintenance and repair business, self-employed, running my own shop, and a mobile repair business since 2014. And in 2020, I picked up two huge fleet accounts. It was a blessing, but it put a lot of other stuff off. So the project stalled and it came to a grinding halt. Then 2022 comes around. The fleet customers that I had, they've decided they're gonna hire mechanics to work in-house, which I was very happy to turn loose of those. So the hours I'm putting in are less and I decide I'm gonna go full bore on this project. I get the wiring all done, all the electricals taken care of, fuel system, exhaust system, all the things that have been partially done for two years. And with lots of help from my Uncle Phil. So this truck in its heyday would have been likened to a new GMC Sierra LTZ, you know, Denali, top of the line model. It was inline six, had a hydromatic, which was from my research, the first year that the trucks were available with an automatic. So four speed cast iron hydromatic, all the different bells and whistles you could think of, which aren't a lot compared to nowadays, but it had nice door panels and it had a decent seat. You know, just different things that you wouldn't expect on a truck like this. So in case you didn't know, that's pretty loaded up on options for 1954. Now it's time to turn to some of the finer details and cosmetics of the truck. Since the body and everything are all original, but we had some nice patina on there, we figured we'd save it. Went ahead and did some sealer on it, made by Poppy's Patina. And if you haven't seen that, check them out. It's some awesome stuff. We also turned to some of the interior. We went with a classic look on the gauges. Autometer, classic style gauges. AC, heat, nice and warm, defrost, lights, dome light, turn signal, wipers, 
A few of the interior parts were missing or falling apart, and especially the, the turn signal knob and the shift knobs, they were completely falling to pieces. I started looking around trying to buy them, don't exist. So I asked one of my boys if he could do something for me, and off of a piece that was about half of the shift knob, he modeled and he 3D printed them, and they look almost original. Also did the interior with just a plain rubber diamond plate look mat, and I really like the look of that. It's nice and durable, and it works great. I put down some material that would deaden the sound and keep some of the heat out of the cab. I wanted to do a quick update before this one wraps up. Got the door off of it. I put the weather stripping on, and there was a broken hinge. So we've got to get that welded up. Pulled the seat out, found a treasure trove in here. Gotta love old cars. Guy used to run a sign business. And there's 1960s technology for neon signs. Pretty cool. I got the hinge prepped. We'll get this all welded up and go from there. But truck's looking good. Like the door panel. Black, brown. So I really wanted to get this one out and to the customer before Christmas. I figured that'd be a pretty awesome Christmas present. Since he was about nine years old, he hasn't seen this truck move. So it would be pretty phenomenal to be able to drop that off to him. There it is. All finished. Give everything a wipe down. Tomorrow, take it out and tune it. Some new stuff coming up. Got a 72 Monte Carlo doing for a guy. Similar build, TT 
you guys later. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.